Ukrainian officials said civilians were killed on Monday as Russian artillery bombarded residential districts of Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city. While Moscow's invading forces continued to meet with stiff resistance from Ukrainians on the fifth day of conflict. The attacks came as Russian and Ukrainian officials met on the Belarusian border but made no breakthrough. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky described mounting civilian casualties as he requested immediate membership into the European Union. Just think about it. Since the beginning of the Russian invasion, within only four days, due to the Russian shelling, 16 Ukrainian children have died, 45 children were wounded. Each crime, each shelling from the occupants against us makes us and our partners more and more united. The Russian invasion, the biggest assault on a European state since World War II, has failed to make the decisive early gains that Russian President Vladimir Putin would have hoped for. But Kharkiv in Ukraine's northeast has become a major battleground. Officials said Russian artillery pounded residential districts, even though no Ukrainian army positions or strategic infrastructure were there. At the United Nations, Moscow's ambassador denied the reports. The Russian army does not pose a threat to the civilians of Ukraine. It's not shelling civilian areas. In Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, explosions were heard before dawn. Both men and women showed up on Monday at civil territorial defense centers to enroll and receive weapons. I am here because those whom we were not glad to see knocked on my door. And I believe everyone who can resist must do so, because it is our home and we must defend it. Despite the extraordinary resistance of the Ukrainian people, Putin on Monday showed no sign of ending the invasion he unleashed, dismissing the West as an empire of lies. U.S. officials expect Russian forces to try to encircle Kyiv in the coming days, warning they could become more aggressive out of frustration with their slow advance on the Ukrainian capital. Satellite images showed a Russian military convoy stretching over 40 miles Monday and moving closer to Kiev.